Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you a document understanding workflow in action. Well, nowadays, many companies have big quantities of documents to process periodically. With that, I mean documents that need manual verification to look for some kind of information or even for organization purposes. So, that's where UiPath document understanding comes in. It allows robots to carry on these duties instead, like extracting document fields and many other functionalities, like moving them to their corresponding folder. So, what I'm gonna do with my workflow today is very simple. I'm gonna pass this document here as a as input to the workflow. It is a gas bill from Naturgy. And it will correctly classify it as a gas bill of Naturgy. Also, it will extract some fields of it, like the billing name, the billing address, and also the total cost of the bill. And after that, it is going to move these documents to its corresponding folder, the gas bill folder. We can minimize it for now, and let's open the workflow. Here it is. So, the usual document understanding workflow has six steps. This one, the taxonomy, and then we go to the digitization. After that, we go to the classification of the document, after, we have the extraction of the field. Then we have the consumption of the extracted data. And after that, we can train our classifier, both our classifier and our extractors. I will talk about that in a minute. Uh, my intention here is not to enter in much details about each one, each one of these steps, because we are going to make uh, separate videos for each one in the future. So for now, I just want to give a quick overview of each one of them. So, in the taxonomy manager right here, it's where we define our taxonomy. Here we can define the document types that we will be using. And you can see here that I have four. And I'm using SAG or Naturgy. And inside each one of them, there are some fields that I can define to, to be extracted, right? So in this case, as I said, I have the billing name, the billing address, and also the total of the bill. We can hit save and just close it. And in this first step, we effectively load our taxonomy into the workflow so we can use them, use it. And the rest is just the initialization of the variables. So we go back to the main. Here we have a simple get file that checks if uh, a new file is on the folder to be processed. If not, it just ends the process. And if it has, we go then to the digitization step, which is also very simple. It deals with the digitization of the document. We can use many OCR engines for that, but for now I'm going to use the UiPath document OCR. But in the intelligent OCR package of UiPath, we, it comes with many OCR engines. Let me just find them here. Here they are. We have all these options and other packages can even increase this number to have more available. We can close this and go back to the main. Here we have the step of the classification, which is a little bit more complex. It deals with, well, classifying the document to accord, accordingly to its type. Once again, we can use many classifiers in this case to classify our document. We can have many at once here, but for now I'm just using the intelligence keyword. And here I can also train our classifiers so it will have an easier time classifying the documents that will, will pass through it. Okay, so we go back to the main and go to the extraction step. Here we have two steps inside it. The first one is very similar to the classification one in which we have a data extraction scope. And once again, this time it's an extractor, similar to the classifier, 
uh, that I used. And once again, we can use many extractors at once to each kind of document. We can edit this re here and also train these extractors by providing the templates of the documents. For now, we'll just use a form extractor normally. And the second step that I told, it's optional. It's where the validation station is presented. The validation station can work here on Studio or even in the UiPath's Action Center on the cloud. And it's basically a station where we can verify if all the information that was extracted and also the classification of the document is correct. If not, we can correct it. Right? I will show this in a minute. We can go back to the main. Here's a very simple step, once again, the consume extracted data. It would just export the extraction results that, that I have and then write them on a Excel spreadsheet. We can extract, the, we can consume this data in many different ways, but for now, I'll just stick to the basic and write it to a Excel spreadsheet. Let me just... Okay, perfect. So after that, we can go here to the move file, which is an optional step that I put here to demonstrate. This deals with uh, basically moving the document to its cor uh, corresponding folder, as I said before. Nothing very... everything is simple once again. And the last step here is the train classifier scope. The train classifier step, sorry. Here we can retrain our classifiers so that in every document that passes right here, the classifier is trained once again, so it gets better and better at classifying everything we want. We can also, as I said, train our extractors too, but they require a custom activity that I'll, I'll, be, I'll be talking uh, in future videos. For now, let's just train our classifiers. I guess that's all. Let me just close here, main. And I can run the workflow now. As I said, it will move the document to the corresponding folder. Here it is. And let me just... Okay, perfect. Let's just hit run and see how it goes. I will open up this folder. Okay, here it is. You can see that everything was extracted correctly. There is only one issue right here on the billing name. We can correct it by just selecting it with a rect rectangle and clicking here and change extracted value. So here it is. It's simple as that. You can see here that the classification worked perfectly. It is a document from SAG or Natuji. And the total is okay and also the address. So we can hit save. Here's the folder. This Excel spreadsheet is being written and there are no more files to be processed. Here you can see the document on the correct folder as I said. I will hit OK right here. The workflow stops and I will just show the Excel spreadsheet. Refresh. Here it is. You can see that the fields are right here. With, with success. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.